my name is Rich Rose. I'm the Vice President of Customer Advocacy at Aptar. So one of the main things that Aptar Storage Console does is it provides that level of visibility across your whole enterprise. And when I say whole enterprise, uh, we've got customers that have backing up in excess of 30,000 clients a day across 50 plus different countries. And they need to know how much storage capacity they have. They need to know uh, who's consuming storage and at what rate. Uh, and how do they, how can they avoid over, over provisioning storage? And I say, you know, also what storage can be reclaimed because it's expensive. So if you're over provisioning storage or you're backing up too much, uh, there's a reclamation effort that's uh, possible. We saved one customer just recently. Uh, we found 5.5 petabytes of backup data that just simply was wasted and could have been reclaimed. And that translated into millions and millions of dollars. We provide uh, reporting and analytics across your entire uh, environment. From a backup perspective, we handle all of the major backup products. So we handle TSM, Legato, Commvault, HP Data Protector, Backup Exec, Net Backup, uh, even backing up to the cloud. So we, we, um, we can report on uh, backups that are going to Microsoft Azure, or you might have Amazon Web Services as a, as a container that you're sending your disk targets to. We have literally hundreds, if not thousands, of reports that are all based around various forms of data protection, uh, how much data I'm backing up, are my clients being successful, which clients are not getting their backups. Show me hosts that actually, for whatever reason, are not getting their backups. We go in and collect data from the entire environment, from all of your storage devices, your switches, your VMware environment, and your data protection environment, and your backup software. We collect all of that stuff globally. So we'll, we'll, talk, we'll talk to your storage arrays, and we'll talk to your data domains, and we'll pull in all of the information, all of the LUNs, all of the hosts that are attached to all of those storage arrays, and then we correlate all of that data. And then we look at the backup environment and we compare the two. And we say, hey, I got some hosts that are attached to this storage array. Here's the worldwide names. They're going through this switch port. Um, I don't find them in any of your backup policies. There could be an issue here. Uh, one of the other benefits of doing that is that we can see from a host perspective how big it is. We can look at it from the array perspective and see how big it is. And we can then compare that with the size of its backups. And if there's a huge delta between how big that host is and the size of its backup, we can create alerts based on that saying, hey, uh, you've got a host here that's got you know, 200 gigabytes of data on it. The last time it did a backup and it was successful, it only backed up 32 kilobytes. That could be a problem. So we see stuff like that all the time. And it's really kind of giving you visibility into what you don't know about. So from a collection perspective, as I mentioned, we collect from the switches, we collect from the cloud, we collect from uh, all of the different backup products, we collect from all of the different storage array vendors, and essentially we give you your entire environment in a single pane of glass. So we have a centralized portal, uh, which is just a simple piece of software that you access with your web browser, and we have a modular uh, collection methodology. So basically, you put a very simple data collector in your various data centers around the world, and that scales globally. All of those collectors will push their data up to the centralized portal. It all is a uh, done over a very lightweight, uh, and as we actually have a patent on the protocol for transmission of data between these these sites, it's very secure. We've got massive, massive customers that are doing this. Um, thousands and thousands and thousands of backup jobs every night are getting pushed to this uh, centralized portal server. And then from there, um, the, the information is then correlated and then stored in that Oracle database. And then you, as the end user, log into your portal and see everything. And you get daily reports. You get alerts. Uh, you've got basically now visibility into your entire environment, not just your backup environment, but everything. You can see all of your VMs. You can see the data stores. You can see where the data stores are mapped to. You can see the, the spindle that a guest is using.
Uh, and then you can find out if that spindle on that guest is also being backed up. Is that thing part of a backup policy? Is it being snapshotted? All of the above. These are the types of things that our customers are typically looking at. Here's an example of a simple dashboard uh, where you can get an overview globally across your hosts. You can aggregate them by department. You can aggregate them by data center. You can look at your um, kind of the historical view of your backups. If you go to reportlibrary.aptar.com, you're going to see hundreds of reports of all different kinds uh, for backups. It's an open site. Uh, bookmark it, poke around, see what's out there. You'll be amazed at all the different variations. We got so many customers that use Aptar Storage Console that they actually uh, will create reports in any one of our three report designers, and they'll send them to us and say, "Hey, you know, Rich, can you put these on a report library? I think some other customer might enjoy it." Uh, 